Well, good morning. Hope you're all doing well. And we're back out in the UK, first time in a while, as you see in the last few videos there, we were out in Italy. And it's, I just loved it out there, absolutely loved it. But it's kind of nice to, uh, to be back on my home territory. I'm gonna have a bit of a walk around today, see what I can find. The idea for me today is I've come out to a local area. It's not far, it's only about half an hour away from where I live. But it's just nice to explore some of these local areas sometimes. I haven't been to this area for quite some time. So what I wanted to do, there's, there's lots of sort of wood, woodland areas around here. Obviously we're in an open meadow at the minute. There's lots of wooded areas. There's an, a nice river. There's some caves that I haven't been to. I don't think I've ever been to them as long as I've been here. So I thought we'd kind of explore together, see what we can find there, see if there's anything worth photographing. It's just one of those things today where I thought, there's a footpath sign. I'm just gonna follow it and see what happens. So I brought the camera bag, kind of picked one of these areas, the footpath sign, just follow it and see what I can find. So let's go and have an explore, see what's there. found anything quite as yet but what I have found and this is really important when you go exploring these places is that I came to a clearing through this bit of a woodland and I've noticed on the bank side all of this is wild garlic that's died back now I've posted a few images lately of wild garlic earlier in the season so now that I've actually found this area and I can see that it's all wild garlic right up onto this bank side behind me right up into the woods I can see that there's a possibility of quite a nice image here, especially if that's lovely white uh, stars that you get when it first comes out. So what I'm gonna do is bank this and it's somewhere that I can return to next year when, it, when the conditions are way better, but really happy to have found this because this is actually closer than the, uh, the, last, the place that I shot last with wild garlic. So yeah, I can come back here when the conditions are right and even if they're not it's not so far to come, keep coming back until I get the right conditions but yeah really happy about this because there's some really nice furs in amongst here and then those the softness of the furs and then the uh, the white garlic will really look nice together I think so yeah definitely somewhere to do a return to so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just take a picture with my phone and then what that'll do is is next year when I want to come back to this location I'll have the GPS location in my phone so I can come straight back to this place and find this location again and hopefully it's going to be absolutely covered in wild garlic. So, so far I haven't managed any proper landscape shots but I went into the caves just back there you'll probably see from these clips now but it was too dark to actually film anything so I've taken a couple of shots one with um, almost doorways which are cut in the sandstone and there was three in a row so I've, I've focused so there's, they're all in a row and you've got those layers of doorways and then another one which I used like a cut out of a window it's almost like a window shape and what I did is I exposed for the outside of the, uh, the structure and then took another exposure for the inside and what I'll probably do is blend them both together to get the best of both worlds but if those have turned out I'll pop them up now for you.
So, found my first composition. Well, real outdoor composition, let's say. So I've got these two trees either side and I've also got some lovely rhododendrons and they've got those lovely sort of gr lovely green shoots that are just coming out now. Absolutely beautiful. And every now and then the light's coming down from above and just illuminating them, giving the leaf some sort of dimension and a bit of feeling about it. So I'm just kind of waiting around for that light to hit basically. I'll turn you around and I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I can see on the back here. So I've got this tree off to the left. I've got the other tree off to the right just there. And all those rhododendrons are just in the background there. Then I've got the rest of the trees in the forest behind. So there's no actual sky interfering with the scene. However, you can see there's a bit of wind movement. So I'm having to get up to about a 25th of a second to uh, combat that wind movement. And that means because I'm in the wood, woods here, I'm having to uh, go to about 8,000 ISO, which isn't particularly ideal, but I've got to kind of work with what I've got. I want most of this in focus. So that's why I'm at F16, because I want everything kind of in focus from front to back as much as I possibly can. So the only way I can combat that is to go up to ISO 8,000. But I think it should still come out pretty clean, so I'm not too worried about it. And as you can just see, you've got all those green shoots in the background there. That's kind of what I'm, I'm focused on. The two trees are there to kind of basically frame that. Now, again, it probably would be quite nice with fog or something like that in the background, but it may be just one of these shots where I can kind of get this shot for now. And if those conditions present themselves, I can come back and try again. So I've waited around a little bit for the light to increase and get a little bit better, which means I can get my ISO up to 6400, which is a lot better. And it just means that I'm a stop underexposed just to kind of uh, stop any highlights that might happen at all. I'm using a circular polarizer just to keep the glare down off the leaves and just add a little bit more um, contrast and a little bit more pop to the, those greens in the, in the background there. And yeah, I think I'm gonna be happy with this one. Take the shot. guys I'm not having too much of a successful uh, trip today to be honest with you nice walk it's been spot on to get outside but I'm not seeing a great lot today I've got a couple images I think that I'm happy with but I've just started to head back now head back towards where the cars parked and I'm just gonna have a bit of a see if there's anything I didn't notice on the way in that there is on the way out so uh, yeah, we'll walk back slowly, see if I can find anything on the way back and I'll catch up with you if I find something. So basically what I was just saying to my whole piece to camera where I didn't have any mics plugged in or even switched on, <laughs> these things happen, is that there was absolutely nothing stood out on the way back. So what I'm gonna actually do now is I'm gonna take a bit of a leisurely drive home and see if anything pops out on the way back anything that kind of stands out to me on the way back. And I might just uh, drop in and see if I can get something then. I mean, it's sometimes just the way where you go out to explore these places and there's just nothing there. So you don't know until you try. I think that's the kind of moral of the story. You have to kind of explore these areas and sometimes you find hidden gems. Now, although I've been here before, you can always find something new. So while the light was nice, I've called into this wood and we'll have a walk through and see what we can find. Hopefully, might find some new compositions. Oh. 
So I'm really quite happy because I've found a shot that works for me, but I'm going to have to be relatively quick because the, the sun's fading and it's fading behind the trees, which is just behind you there. And it was illuminating all these ferns, which is just down in the bottom here, but the, it's already, it's already starting to dip below those trees. And as soon as it does, it's going to be relatively flat down here. So I want to make most of the, the light while it's there. I think it's just a cloud passing over at the minute, but it's, it's not going to last a whole lot longer. I'll get you to the back of the camera. I just want to kind of walk you through what I've got lined up, what I'm going to leave out and what I'm going to leave in. So I'm hoping you can see okay. So I've made a strip panel um, because I think it works best. There's blue sky above and I don't want that in the shot at all. But just down in the bottom here, you can see all these little ferns that are dotted around through there. And also these mossy silver birch branches leaning in from the right hand side, I think are really, really interesting as well. The trees I've tried to separate as best as I can in the background there. So I've got as much separation and trying not to cross them over as much as possible. But I mean, there's the odd one there that I can see that I really can't do anything about. I can just see the lights just starting to come back now. You can maybe just see it starting to appear in the bottom of this frame here. And that's what I want to be able to capture. So I'm going to go and grab this shot now before that light, light fades. Yeah, so this is pretty much the best shot I'm, I'm happy with all day, to be honest. I've kind of rescued the day with this shot for me anyway. Um, yeah, it just looks really, really nice. As I say, it's just a case of waiting for this light to kind of illuminate these ferns. All of that is kind of a wetland area down there. It's all boggy marsh, but the ferns just look so vibrant in amongst it. So what I'm, I'm doing is I've put a polarizer on just to take a little bit of the glare and sheen off the uh, leaves, but I don't want to take all of it out. Um, I've not got full polarization. I've just kind of got it a quarter turn just to take a bit of that glare out and give it more punch with the greens even though I'll probably you know desaturate the greens slightly for my final image I like to have it as punchy as possible so I can play with it later but yeah it's looking really really nice I just love this scene it's busy there's a lot going on but there's something about it that I really do quite like so yeah definitely worth stopping to take and definitely worth stopping here on the way home as well if I hadn't of uh, cold here on the way home. I think today would have been, yeah, not so great, but yeah, this has been worthwhile. But as I say, I don't think I've got a whole lot of this light left because it is fading pretty fast. That's the problem with this woodland, actually. Because of where it's situated, you've got another, another part of woodland which sits behind it. And as soon as that sun gets too low, it drops into that other woodland and this woodland here just becomes too dark to work with. But yeah, this is looking great. So settings are F16. I'm at ISO 640 because the light's not too great in here. And I've got a shutter speed of around about fifth of a second and I, that's probably because I've got the polarizer on her as well yeah that's just nice yeah this is so lush and green in here now that it's it's almost got that kind of jungly feel about it it's absolutely stunning it's kind of almost like a rainforest it looks out so stunning and this is the kind of thing that I really love really love at this time of year a lot of people don't like summer so much for uh, photography at all, but I kind of love it to be honest. You've got to embrace the green though, you really have. There's a lot of it around, but I, I love that. I think it's a sign of life. I think it's really encouraging to see it. I just love the vibrance and intensity of it. And yeah, you have to dial it back slightly for your images because it looks overdone if you don't, but yeah, I really love it. I really do love it. So if this image is turned out, I'll pop it up now for you.
So guys, really happy that I stopped off here on my way home. Just goes to show today, could have been a bit of a write-off, but that first shot that I took out there with the, uh, that looked like a rainforest with all the ferns coming up on the forest floor, I'm really, really happy with. So it was worth it just, you know, the whole day was worth it just for that shot for me. I think it made all the difference just, you know, not giving up and coming to this location on the way home. Right guys, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one really soon. Take care, bye bye.